Hey, what's good, everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today, I was going to show you guys how you can make a uh, Travis Scott slash Young Thug Tap beat in Logic Pro X. And um, what I'm going to do first is, uh, you know, play you the intro, the hook, and the, uh, the verse. And then we're going to go into breaking down the VSTs I used, uh, what sort of effects I used, and how I automated these effects. That'll be three different sections. So let's go ahead and uh, listen in really quick. So let's get into the first uh, part here. Uh, this is a piano organ mix um, sound that I got from Omnisphere. It's under keyboards. It's called Snow Chant Piano. I'll let you hear that really quick. These are just chords that I played in on top of a different melody uh, that I created with a pencil. And that was this melody right here. And um, then I got a, a bell piano on top of that. Section that off really quick here. This is also from Omnisphere. Their keyboards, Snow Chan piano again. And this is a different piano from Omnisphere. It's called uh, Spooky Piano. I got a, uh, a D pad over here. Also from Omnisphere. It's under pad strings called Lush Super Saw Pad 2. And it sounded differently uh, actually in the beginning. And then I used an EQ to uh, make it the way that I want it to sound. But uh, we're going to get into that in a minute. I got an 808. Uh, this 808 came from uh, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, it's called a Millie Backseat Freestyles. That's the name of the 808. Um, that's a bank that you can cop. Again, the bank is called uh, the Big Bang Theory. Got some dope sound on 808s in there. Got a kick. I've give, given this kick away uh, probably a million times in different uh, tutorials. So if you're an avid watcher, uh, then you should already have this kick. If not, Go ahead and watch my other tutorials and pick that up. It's a nice snappy kick. Got a snare in there too. Also a sound I've given away a million times. Secondary snare. Hi-hats. open hat and then I got a vocal on the in the front of that verse I actually uh, for the verse changed up um, the sound for that uh, that penciled in melody that I created Sounds different than this, right? And uh, show you guys what I use for this. Also under keyboards called Frozen Piano Dreams from Omnisphere.
All right, so uh, let's uh, take a look at um, the drum patterns themselves. I got, uh, again, this simple snare with the kick. And for this beat, I actually created the 808 first and then <clears throat> created my, um, or drew my kicks in afterwards. Here's that other snare. It's actually two different snares. These two right here. Here are the hi-hats. You can tell the hi-hats actually change in pitch. You can't see that here because I created that also in the automation. Something that we're going to be going over in a minute. This one open hat, and this actually changes in pitch as you play it. And uh, again, that Vox got that uh, from T Customs, I think. All right, so uh, let's break down the automation for uh, for this for these uh, tracks that I have here in this beat. So I hit A on my keyboard, and all the automation comes up. All right. I'm going to start at the front here, at the very top. Um, so I got an EQ on this one. There's no automation happening on that, so not really interesting that I can show you. But um, on the secondary piano, I also have an EQ. And I'll open up the EQ really quick. You can see that I have my high cut frequency turned on and my low cut frequency. But the high cut frequency is what we're going to be automating. You can automate that by going here clicking that area go into your channel EQ as long as your channel EQ is on you'll see this option listed here and then selecting high cut frequency uh, you gotta make sure that the high cut frequency is turned on so that you can automate it and then I just uh, I clicked on this area and uh, this bar appears here this line right it starts off at 20,000 Hertz uh, that means that all you know, frequencies anywhere from 20 hertz all the way to 20,000 hertz are going to be audible um, depending on how you shape this, right? So, in the beginning of this beat, this portion sounds very faint, you know, and it, it progressively comes in louder and louder. And you could do that again by doing that setup for the EQ and then drawing simply here. I'll show you really quick here as you press on this this line these um, things appear and that you could shape the way you want it to you know sound or start um, you know we can do a detailed tutorial on uh, automation if you like if that's something that you uh, would want to learn you could vote right here so let's go ahead and uh, see what else we got here I got this uh, reverbed horn I also have a um, an automation happening on this this is also the EQ and I'm going basically reverse from what I did with here in the beginning here uh, you know it came in faint and started growing and then in this section here for the verse I actually have it coming in and then getting uh, you know quieter as it progresses you can see that high cut frequencies coming in more and more it's going to start to sound different very uh, soon here. Actually, it's over in this section. Definitely a nice effect to uh, to the beat. And um, let's unsolo this really quick and show you guys what else I put in here. Uh, in terms of automation okay so for the uh, the hi-hats for example um, I'm using this thing called uh, rhythmizer and uh, I just basically have a simple tape stop effect that I created um, I started off with this pattern it's called patterns right here and then uh, that's a preset for rhythmizer this is basically the equivalent of gross beat for FL studio you can use uh, rhythmizer in uh, you know in FL Studio or uh, Logic 
Um, I had a tutorial on how to uh, use Groove Speed inside of Logic, but uh, this is definitely a much easier option uh, for Logic users that try to get that same type of effect. Um, so I chose Complex One, took a lot of stuff out, and all that was left was this uh, this tape stop effect here at the end. So I'm going to solo out the hi hats. I'm just going to take a listen here. The way I automated it was uh, selected this, so the multiband rhythmizer, and selected dry and wet. So here it's at 0%, that means that this effect is uh, not coming into play, and up here it's 100%. So I shaped it in a way so that only the end uh, sections of this hi-hat will have the, uh, the tape stop effect. All right, this is how you can you know manipulate... Uh, the um, the effect that you're using, you know, by using the dry and wet mix. Again, you can simply select that by going here, and then dry and wet. And uh, I also automated the uh, the pitch uh, for this. As you can see here, if you scroll in, you see these black bars that appear in the background. This is actually how the pitch changes. Uh, in this hi-hat you can hear that too all right so uh, these two different uh, you know automation effects that definitely helps it make it sound uh, different so um, so for the hi-hat you know I have the uh, the pitch um, automation uh, set to you can uh, do that by clicking on this guy right here and then selecting pitch bend and then uh, I drew in just like I did with the uh, the multiband rhythmizer um, how the pitch is going to be so it starts off low goes high goes back low high etc so these will be played lower in pitch these will be played higher in pitch again you know that's uh, that's how you automate uh, a pitch bend in uh, in a track on a MIDI region um, let's see what else we got here we got that open hat this is really nothing interesting it's just to bring it you know that little bit of extra in terms of the drums and the vocal and um, yeah so um, what else we got in this beat here that I can show you guys uh, it, later on, I, uh, I changed it up a bit for, uh, I guess, somewhat of a bridge that you can, uh, that you can hear here. I have uh, an organ. It's uh, from, also from Omnisphere. It's called Organs uh, or Dusty Wheels 2. Also EQ'd that. Took a lot of that low end and that high end off. Eight oh eight plays differently uh, differently here for that section. Variation in the drums. And then it goes into uh, the outro slash last hook uh, for that beat. So I added that vocal on top of it to sort of like finish off the beat, I guess. It's from uh, Contact 5 plugin called Vocalize. The company's called uh, Heaviosity. It's definitely a dope plugin. That's all sorts of like epic sounding uh, vocals. And uh, I just thought it fits to this, you know, sort of like as a closer. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. If you have questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Here's a couple other tutorials that you can watch. My name is CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.